video today we're going to upgrade the interior lights in the discovery 4 to be honest it's the same as the disco 3 so let me talk you through what we're going to upgrade we're going to replace these three little leds in here uh, lights in here with leds we're going to do the back now we missed this on the last video so we're going to do there's three in the back there we're going to do the interior lights under oh my goodness me under the doors there all right <laughs> Sorry about that, set the alarm off. We're gonna do the interior light here in the boot. And then the last ones we're gonna do are here under the footwell, which my door's not opening. Bear with me. Right, and we're gonna do the interior lights in the footwell, um, which I can't see there. He's under there, don't know why he's not coming on. Um, but we're gonna replace those as well. So right, so what have we got? So we have a collection of, oh, I missed some, I missed some. We've got ones in the rear headlining up there as well. So in the top of the. So these seven bulbs here, hold on, two, four, six bulbs here are for the overhead consoles. Three in the front overhead console, three in the middle. Four of these are for the doors, for the bottoms of the doors. This one is for above the rear hatch and right at the back of the headlining there. Bring okay. This, show you how they... that, that's how they come boxed up like that. Let's just yeah, plug in. How many of these have we got? So those Seven. are for the door. Oh, well. Sorry. That's for the rear. That's for your boot. Yeah, and those two are for your yeah, front, foot, foot wells. front foot wells. And these two are for the lights oh. in the rear side headlining. So just on the inside in there. Right, and Ian, what are we going to start with? Let's let's, start front or back? Let's do a door one, because then that's four of them done. All right, he's unlocked now. So right, do you want a little scraper tool? All right, let's have a look underneath here. Now, I'm pretty sure most discos have them. You might, if you have a really grisly base spec one, you might not have it. So there we go. So that so pulls if you have up. A look, you've got a small notch just in one end. That'll be the end that you need to... See that little notch there? You can yeah. see it in the middle there. there. Yeah. Just use your tool, get tool. under there. That'll just pop out. Pop out. Careful, the bulbs are hot, but you, you take the bulb holder you just out. Twist, just put it straight off the connector. Yep. And then, and then we one. get the new one. So you've got a simple connector. And the connector only goes on one way, doesn't it? Yep, you can't put it in the you wrong can't way. Put it in the wrong way. So as you just demonstrate. There, and there we go, we've got a nice bright white light. That's it, get that, Back there you go, that's cool. Right, let's do an overhead console now. How are we going to film this? Right, I'll go around the, are oh, you going to, you run around the driver's side. You got your bulbs. Bruh. Quick, quick interruption, Ian. If you hold the interior light, can you disable the interior light function on this one? Which one have I got to hold? Well, on the Evoke, if you press, oh, it's done a little flash then. Does it say anything on the dash? Interior yeah, interior lights, lights off. off. Right, so did you see that everyone? It had interior, if you press and hold, try shutting your this, door. let me try shutting my door. Right then, and now I think you have to do the same thing to reactivate So I them. think when you open the door, yeah. the light won't come on. Yeah. Unless, if you turn and, it on oh, physically, yeah. it will. Right, and that flashed, and what's it gonna say? Does it say, yeah, interior, interior lights on auto. auto. So if your interior lights don't work, um, or you think you've mucked them up, it's probably because you've been messing around and pressed that switch for too long. So but that go. now works. Now also the notice they fade. So what we need to do, let's just watch that again. So when you close, they fade. And hopefully the LEDs will do the fade too. Right, now they're not closed. It's gonna take forever now. It's gonna take forever. Um, but yeah, they will fade. We'll have a look at it in a sec. Right. Pull the front edge. Okay. Down towards you. And that, we've got like a blue clip here, have we? Keeping it in the middle and some little clips on the front there. One of those might ping off. I think when we did the disco free, it pinged off. In which case, you just have to refit it there. So you want to make sure your lights are turned off or else the bulb will be hot. Yeah. Because you need to pull it out of its little... Got a little oh, holder, holder. And now these bulbs aren't, if you're not using our bulbs, use someone else's, you might have to try it both ways. So you might have to turn the light on and check it works. Yeah, it works. Okay. Next one, so just 90 degree twist. So these, our bulbs aren't polarized, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, that one's. Oh, cool, wet grass. Cool, wet grass in. So you're saying you take those out. There we 
You ever done cold walking? I haven't. No. I can't say it's on my bucket list. And then swap fork free. Right. Now we're not going to show you the middle overhead console because it's exactly the same, isn't it? Yep. It okay. comes out exactly the same, does it as well? Uh, we'll it have looks a, we'll, like exactly we'll, we'll just the same unit. Right. Let's just, just go on then. See if you can. I'd rather trash my car than customers trash theirs. Give it a pull from the back and see if that's. Yeah, we'll do it from the front edge again there. Yeah. And you've just got the three units there. Exactly the same. So we'll do that, but you don't need to watch that. What are we on next? We've done footwells. 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 I'll grab one. You, which, which side's going to be easier? Actually, this side's probably easier, isn't it? Right. We're going to swap sides, everybody. Sorry about this. Right. I'm going to run around here and lean over. Ooh, see if I can dive in here and get a better. He, he wasn't lighting up earlier. Yeah. I'm sure there's one in there. It's right down the back here. Has it got a slotted end on it? Sorry, this is a rubbish video. It has, but I can't see Can you pull that end. panel down and get behind it? Okay, so we wrestled with it. We did get it out. The The thing is located... The, the side you need to leave it from is towards the centre console on both sides. And then they do pop out. So what happens is you press that little spring clip in there. With the tool. Oh, sorry, I'm not looking. Yeah. That's what you need to do. Do, okay. And this one wasn't working because there's... No. no wire going to it. There is a wire. Oh, there is a wire. Someone's oh, at it. There's a wire over there. Ah. Will it reach? So it won't work. That's the right one. We've got, we got some oddness going on, haven't we? Someone's put the car back together, eh? It is. It knows it wants to. Right, so we'll get on and do that. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll nick that tool, will he, and sort that out. Right, I'm going to do the, the roof one now. Yeah. Right, there we go, round to the back. Sorry about these random videos. Right, so this is the last one we're going to do. Now we're looking for that little notch. So I think there's a little notch on this side here. Look at that, there you go. All right. All right. Oh gosh, we've lost the connector up there somewhere. There he is, let me see if I can tease him out a bit. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right, and then refit, sorry, I'm videoing and doing it. There we go, so I'll just plug that in. And then slip that one in. And that's that one, right, have we done them all, Ian? Uh, once we get this one plugged yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, so... Oh, no, the side ones, the side ones, we got to do the side ones. You can jump in the back and do them. That's all. These ones up here, and yeah. they should. It'll be a little bit gentle with them. That's so you go the between, middle bit. between the yeah. plastic frame. So there's a plastic frame so you go and, the, and the lens. So you need to be putting by the side of the clear lens between that and the grey frame. Yeah, and these ones are again just a bolt change. And if you do dislodge the whole light fitting, I have got another video showing you how to remount that because someone got in a pickle and asked me to do a video for that. There you go, and just check they work, you can switch the switch. Yeah, now you see how they are designed, they don't emit light at the back, they they emit it all down forward to give you more light in your luggage compartment. Right, that's all done, good luck with that.